Sicilian defense, open, Nadorf, English attack, 6, e5. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well fought middle game that black got the better of. Both players had a nice end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d pawn for the c pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance b7 b5, and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. b3 supports the strong d4 knight in the center. e5 takes space in the center, attacks the knight on d4, and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. The knight is thus brought to safety. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This develops a bishop off its starting square getting it into the action. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a fantastic but elusive move. It is incorrect. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is good. This ignores a better way to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. This displays a queen attack. It is ideal. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is quite good. This wastes a chance to threaten a rook and gain the tempo. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to win material. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to win material. It is a great move. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. 
it is a mistake. Backs off. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This defends the attacked bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This threatens to create a passed pawn. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores a better way to reveal an attack on a rook. It is a mistake. This causes material loss. It is a mistake. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. That is a logical response. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This challenges the opposing rook for control of the open file. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is excellent. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. White is worse at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This ships the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a miss. This passes up the chance to capture an outpost with a bishop. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. That's fine. It is good. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the bishop off the board. That's good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Initially, black had the upper hand, but now the score is nearly equal. It is incorrect. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. A very strong play. It is excellent. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good.
the bishop now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. Both players had a nice end game. 